Hey everyone, Tristan here. Thanks for listening to Anchor Today. So are you anxious about the future? What in your future makes your mind race and wander? Here's a couple of questions. Uh, you know, maybe some of these pertain to your life or they have in the past. Maybe you're dealing with any anxiety and you got some questions like these, you know, how am I going to pay the bills this month? Who will I marry in the future? Should I tell my boss the truth and risk losing my job? So many uncertainties in life that we face, right? The future is full of many unknown details, but God's big plan for those who have placed their trust in him is very certain. In the end, Jesus will defeat all evil and bring us into his presence, where we will worship him at his throne. So God gave Daniel a vision of the future over 2,500 years ago. God gave him a vision of things. Uh, some, of, some of them have happened for us, for you and I now. Some of those things have happened, but he also gave him a vision of things that have not yet happened for us. So Daniel 8 verse 25 talks about the future Antichrist and what he will do. He will cause deceit to prosper through his cunning and by his influence. And in his own mind, he will exalt himself. He will destroy many in a time of peace. He will even stand against the prince of princes. Yet he will be broken, not by human hands. So this ruler, this antichrist will be broken by God. And we know that God will take over and be seated on his throne. God has given us insight into the future. More than Daniel had at that time, we know for certain that Jesus has conquered death and he will come back so that we will be with him forever. I pray that gives you hope right now with whatever situation, question, or anxiety you're dealing with. And maybe it isn't a big question, like the questions I was asking at the beginning. Uh, maybe it's something more subtle, these more subtle fears uh, that you're experiencing, those fears that are harder to pinpoint. But here's a couple of questions I'll leave you with. What uncertainty is in your life and how are you dealing with the unknown? And what hope has God given you that you can lean on today?